Hello YouTube, Spiderling just added two new zones for Besiege version 0.45 and they're both a lot of fun. The first is called Ordis Load. It's a mining expedition in which you break apart rocks to release gold ore, which you deliver to the checkpoint. There are a lot more gold nuggets here than you need to beat the zone, which is cool because it gives you a variety of paths to win. They've created an intriguing vignette here with a lot of peripheral stuff to enjoy. My favorite item is this rather innocent looking barrel. It's so volatile that even the pickaxes that were leaned up against it can set it off if you're not careful. But if you are careful, it can help you beat the zone. Overall, I love this level design and I keep coming back to it wanting to try new things. My only suggestion is that I'd like them to make the hitboxes match the visuals more closely in case you want to climb the rocks or something. In a recent poll, Zone 16 was rated the most popular zone because of its destructible castle. And now we have an even bigger castle to destroy. This one is called Penitent Tower. Unlike the previous castle, this one is guarded by knights who attack with both melee and thrown weapons. Aside from the new zones, I've noticed a few programming changes. The Valfrost style knights stop attacking when you win, both in this zone and in the Martyr Knights zone where they also appear. I like this mechanic because it makes it feel rewarding to try to win with as little death as possible. The other types of knights still keep attacking after you win though. Another change is that now you can turn on infinite ammo while in gameplay without resetting your machine. The update also changed the bombs in the levels so that arrows no longer detonate them. However, player or enemy arrows can still detonate bombs on your machine. Strangest of all, if you shoot the actual bomb on a bomb yak, it doesn't do anything. Yet if you shoot the yak itself, it explodes. But on the bright side, the yaks no longer detonate when they run over gold insignia, which helps if you want to gracefully drift around them instead of killing them like this. By the way, the little car I've been using is named Leslie Snipes. It started out as something simple I made just to get the explosive barrel in the gold mine without blowing up. But I kept adding to it and I ended up with something I think you'll really like. I made it heavy and well braced so it can pick up large objects with ease and its heavy weight and low air drag enable it to power through the most brutal winds. Yet it's still small enough to be very nimble. I also included plenty of weapons and carefully positioned cameras for easy aiming. The cannons are especially precise since Leslie's heavy bracing can handle full power cannons for minimal projectile arc. You can check out Leslie Snipes at the Steam Workshop link below. Thanks for watching my video and I hope you enjoy my machine. Also look out for my next video in which I'll continue my minimum block all zones run and beat the new zones with as few blocks as I can.